You're watching Dusty Plasma inside a 3 liter glass bulb. The buffer gas is xenon at roughly 80 millibars. We drive it with a high frequency electromagnetic field generator, the Bagel Gen. The gas ionizes and microscopic carbon grains and specks of carbonyl iron pick up electric charge. Once charged, the grains repel each other. Three forces then set the scene. Gas pressure pushes outward, the electric field pulls inward, and gravity pulls downward. When these forces balance, a stable trap forms, where carbon grains stop behaving like smoke and begin to self-organize. They arrange into ordered layers and rings. This phenomenon is called a plasma crystal. Watch the bright ring near the inductor. That ring marks where the electric field is the strongest. Around it you see a faint blue-green halo. The tint comes from carbonyl iron powder interacting with the discharge near the torus. In slow motion, tiny pinprick flashes appear throughout the cloud. Those are brief moments of recombination and rapid recharging as electrons and ions meet and separate again. We can steer the crystal. Increase the dry frequency and the trap tightens. Lower it and the structure relaxes. Raise the power and the grains levitate higher. Reduce it and they settle. Adjusting the pressure changes how often particles collide. Shift the settings and the crystal melts into a snowstorm, then freezes back into rings and domes. Dusty plasma makes kinetic plasma physics visible at the millimeter scale. Concepts like screening, column interactions and phase transitions, which are normally abstract, appear as moving geometry which you can film in real time. It is a clean model system for studying several physical frameworks simultaneously, with direct links to processes in semiconductor manufacturing, fusion edge plasmas, and even planetary rings. That is a dynamic crystal of charged dust in xenon, self-assembled by electromagnetics, thermodynamics, and gravity.